Hi, I'm Rob Koymans of Clever Shield. In this brief video, I'm going to explain to you what is ozone and what does it do. Let's have a look at the topics that I'll discuss. First of all, we'll cover what is ozone. Then I'll discuss the effect of ozone on microbes. From there, I will discuss an unsuspected effect that ozone has as well. After, we will discuss the safety aspects. And finally, I will discuss why we use ozone. And we'll close with a summary. So, what is ozone? Ozone is O3, so to say. And that is oxygen, O2, with an additional oxygen atom. Ozone is an invisible to light blue gas which is formed by various processes. For instance, UV light splitting oxygen atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. And that's how we get the ozone layer. Or it is created around lightning. And this is linked to the more man-made ways of creating ozone. The first way we can create ozone is by using an electrical discharge unit. So we're going to use electricity sparks to create ozone. And the second way we can create ozone is to use a plasma discharge unit. And a plasma is basically an electrified gas. What effect does ozone have on microbes? Ozone reacts very easily with all organic materials. So that includes microbes. And ozone can directly attack the cell membranes of microbes, any proteins, or even the DNA of those microbes. So ozone is very effective in inactivating yeasts, fungi, and potentially harmful bacteria. And through extensive testing, we know that low levels of ozone result in a reduction of potential harmful microbes on fruits and vegetables. And this gives that the shelf life of these fruits and vegetables is significantly extended, because most of the decay is caused by those microbes sitting at the outside of the fruit and vegetables. But there's an unsuspected effect of ozone. And this effect relates to the fact that a lot of fruit and vegetables use ethylene as a signal molecule to trigger the ripening process. And as it turns out, these ethylene receptors are temporarily blocked by ozone. And the low levels of ozone that we use already result in a delay of the ripening process. And this way, the produce stays fresh much longer. And we can achieve 30 to even 100% longer shelf life with maintaining freshness. There are some safety aspects that you need to be aware of in relation to ozone. First of all, in general, ozone is not safe for humans. And in most countries, it is not allowed to bring ozone into the environment. And ozone levels greater than 50 parts per million can already give irritation for sensitive individuals, whereas ozone levels greater than 150 parts per million are considered unhealthy for all humans. And that's why Flavor Shield uses low levels of ozone in a closed environment. So our treatment unit is totally closed for the environment, but also for humans, rendering it totally safe. And why do we use ozone and not other chemicals? Ozone is one and a half times more powerful as a disinfectant than chlorine. Next to this, ozone acts very fast and it is inexpensive to produce on site. Ozone leaves no residues except natural oxygen, which is no problem. And ozone in our treatment chamber is safe to use on all food products. And ozone is even approved for use on foods by the USDA, the FDA, and all major regulatory agencies globally, except in the EU. And that's why Flavor Shield is currently in the process of applying for EU approval as well. In summary, ozone is a naturally occurring gas. And microbes are easily killed by ozone. So the treatment of fresh fruits and vegetables with low levels of ozone will result in an extended shelf life and an extended peak of freshness. And ozone is dangerous to humans and the environment. But since Flavor Shield uses a closed ozone treatment unit to safely treat the fresh fruits and vegetables, is it okay to do so?